Hi everyone, it's Allie and Rudy and we are here to talk about five different ways that you can safely use Young Living Essential Oils with cats. I'm only talking about Young Living Essential Oils. Please do not do this with any other brand. So the first way that we like to use the essential oils and I'm on the move is diffusing. Diffusing essential oils is a really easy and gentle way to get essential oils, therapeutic grade Young Living Oils into the air, which your cat can then smell. And the thing that I really like about doing this is it gives your cats an opportunity to be in a room where there is a diffuser, like Rudy, and if they don't want to be in the room, they can just go elsewhere. So they should always have the right to choose. Right, Rudy? Right? He says yes. All right. What's the next way? So here, I'm going to set, I'm going to set the camera down. Rudy? So I'm going to have him smell. So this is Young Living Copaiba Vitality Oil. One of the softest, gentlest smelling oils. It is one of my favorites to use with cats. It's an overall wellness oil. Now the one thing that you don't do is you don't just jam the oil right in their nose because their sense of smell is so much stronger than ours. So what I do is I open it up and I start out here and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see his little nose starting to go back and forth, but I just slowly wave it and move closer and then his little nose is moving. And then I want to see if he comes to it. Rudy, look at that. That's all he needed. He just needs to, to smell it straight from the bottle. Good job, Rudy. Good job. So that's a way that you can do it. Another, another way that I like to use this, and I use this in shelter settings, is I take this bottle and I just set it on the floor between me and the cat and the cat will you know kind of move his or her way and come over and smell it so that's another great way that you can uh, use the oils so that was number two number three is put the oils on a surface so this is really good if you're taking your cats to the veterinary uh, veterinary clinic or you're traveling with them so you can you know take a drop of oil and so Rudy is sitting here. These are his blankets that he loves to lay on. And I'm going to put a drop right on his blanket. What do you think, Rudy? And that drop will be there. And so if he wants to smell it, he can smell it. And if he doesn't want to, he can leave. Now the thing about this is please do not put essential oils on collars because they cannot get away from the essential oil. You can put it on a blanket, on a toy, on, um, if they're riding in a carrier, I like to put it on the bars, like of the door of the carrier or the crate, and they can smell it or they can just not smell it. So that's number three. Number four is topical. Now, even though Young Living Essential Oils are safe for cats, oh, Rudy, don't go anywhere because we're doing topical you still need to dilute the oils. So my, I'm trying to get Rudy here, my dilution for cats, no matter what the oil is, because it's never about whether lemon or citrus or eucalyptus or any of those are safe. It's whether the brand is safe and is promoted for use with pets. But still, because cats are missing an enzyme in their liver and they slowly release oils more than us and more than dogs and other animals, you still want to dilute. So I take my empty bottles and I pre-dilute oils. This is a, um, oh, Rudy, it's a Kitty um, Frankincense and Copaiba. And so it's already diluted nine drops of a carrier oil to one drop of an essential oil. And I just put a little bit on my finger and let's see if I can get him over here. Let me see if I can turn the camera. I'll see if I can get him over here. Come here, Rudy. Oh, come here, Rudy. And my favorite way, so I put some on 
my finger and I go right down his spine. That's it. And it doesn't matter if there is a particular area that you that you really feel that you need to apply an oil, like if there's, you know, something on a foot or the back of the neck. The oil is going to saturate the entire body. So my favorite way is to just put it down the spine. It's just easy. And then the last way is ingesting. So, you know, if, if, if you can pill your cat, you can certainly do that. You know, fill the capsule with nine drops of a carrier oil to one drop of an essential oil. Uh, you know, I like that ratio. But one way that I particularly like to use essential oils internally is to put a little bit in wet food and then run some water over it. Now, to be honest, I do not use just a straight oil in their food. I use an oil infused whole body wellness drink that Young Living produces. That's what I put in my cat's food every day and have done it for four years. It's called Ningxia Red. And in their wet food, I put three or four drops, run a little water over it, and they eat it and they love it. And it's packed with citrus oils, which a lot of people you know, are out there talking about how citrus oils are dangerous for cats. I've been doing it for four years. Their blood work is great. I have a 19 and a half year old. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's doing live video here with a cat. Rudy was behind the camera and tipped it over. <laughs> so, you know, it, it, it's never about whether lemon or eucalyptus is dangerous. It's is, is the brand safe? Does the company back their oils to be used with pets? That's the question. So those are the five ways that I use oils with cats, with my cats, with shelter cats that I work with, with cat clients that I work with, and it works really great. You can start with the easiest and, and just try what works for you. You don't have to do something that you're not comfortable with. Just do what you're comfortable with, and if that's just simply diffusing, go for it. Okay, I hope that helps. So take care, everybody.